Well, that was okay. Let's try that again. Hello, everyone. It's Dragon Fruit, and today I will be showing you guys how I draw some human anatomy. I had someone ask how I did anatomy, and I decided that it's a good idea for a video, so I'll do it, even though I'm not that well versed in drawing humans. I mean, I've only been drawing humans for like half a year now, so yeah. Oh, um, we're going to skip past the cursed images. I might do a sketchbook video. Okay, a nice clean open page. Alright, so I did not grab a pencil before doing this. Doing this one, okay. Um, Okay, I have I have my little jar of art supplies that I use. Yeah. I just have oops. <laughs> okay, I just have a jar of art supplies for like when I'm drawing cuz so I have like my normal pencil which has dogs on it. Um and then I have a big eraser. And then a small detail eraser, a sharpie for stuff, this thing which is really fine pointed on this side and like really thick on this side, and then just a mechanical pencil to do fine details. Um, but yeah, I always start with this one if I'm drawing something, which I am 90% of the time. Okay, let's do this. So. I'm going to start with a stick figure just in the corner to show you guys a little bit. I'm just, so here's the head of course. Um, and legs. This will be extremely unproportioned. <laughs> Alright, so people have necks, right? Because that's a thing. Um, I'm going to zoom in. There we go. All right, so here's a torso. It's much easier to start out with just squares for things. My dogs are barking because the snow plower is here. Hold on, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and I apologize if there are like truck noises in the background that's just the snow plow plowing our driveway um so yeah all right so we have this torso rectangle square this is like the central the main part of the torso and then we have the like stomach the part before the waist i guess and then wow that thing is really loud anyway and then we have like Kind of this, not, kind of this rectangle shape that I draw there. <laughs> this looks really fun near the stick person. Okay, um, and then one thing to note is that the legs are a us usually longer than twice as long, longer than the rest of the body. So let's draw our thigh like about there and then Using my fingers, I'm gonna like use the thigh to figure out how long the calf should be. So, like that, I guess. And then just draw a little circle for the knee. And then, if you put your finger here, which is from the waist to like the bottom of the leg, and then measure here, it's like a lot, it should be a lot taller than the torso and the head. So, In the style that I mostly influence from, which is anime, they usually make the legs so much longer than the torso, but that's, like, most people aren't made like that, so, um, most people are made where their legs are just taller than this part, not twice as tall, so, um, yeah. I just draw a little more proportional. Proportional, I mean proportionate. 
Okay, so we're gonna skip that other leg, but erase that part because it looks really dumb. And then two circles for the shoulders. And the elbow, if you picture it, is like right in between this like stomach part. Like that's where the elbow is. So I'm gonna just gonna draw it till about there. And of course, like you can draw it this length and then kind of turn it depending on which way your arm is going. So I'm gonna leave it there and then simply just draw the, wait, what's that part of the arm called? Hold on. The forearm, okay. The forearm is about as long as this part. They're actually the same length. I didn't know I said about as long. Um, and then of course the hand, which is, which in this, it, which is so small for me that I'm not gonna show you how to draw hands in detail right now, but I will eventually. And then of course you would draw the other arm. And yeah, so, and then the foot of course. I'm not, I'm really bad at drawing feet, so yeah. All right, so let's get into the bigger picture. Okay, let's center this. Hold on, I can just bring my camera. Okay, I'm currently using my phone to record, so don't judge please. All right, so when drawing, I always start with the head. If, like, whatever it is, I mean, unless it's an inanimate object, then I, there's no head to start with, but, like, whether it's a dragon or a human or, I, I mean, I'm really bad at drawing cats and dogs, so I don't really draw those, but I draw horses. All right, so I'm gonna start with the head. Um, let's make that bigger. Alright. And then, how should we draw this? I know I should bring up reference photos, but I never really do that because I don't care as much. Definitely you should bring up reference photos, and it'll help you improve a lot more. And I just use reference photos on, like, my really big art pieces that I care about more than the other ones like gifts for people I'm gonna draw the head this way I usually draw a line for the head the front of the head just to show where I want it to be facing and then the ear is like around this way at least how I draw it so I'm gonna draw the ear there and there are many different types of ways to draw ears like you could just draw it like this, or you could draw it like, I draw it more like that. I really, I, actually not really. I like to draw really wide ears, so like, more like that, which is not what this one looks like, um, but that doesn't matter because I will, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying, guys, I, Half the time, like, this is why I don't talk to people, because I'm really bad at talking. Okay, so, then the face, people have, like, face cheeks, right? So, it's gonna go out a little, depending on which perspective you draw from. <clears throat> and, like, adults will have less curved faces, children will have more curved faces, yeah. And I'm going to get some water because my throat hurts. I now have some water. Alright, and then let's draw the chin. So, for more masculine bodies, the chin is like, the chin is more sharp, like this. But for more feminine bodies, it's more curved. And I'm drawing a more feminine body, so I am going to make it curved. And if if the person isn't a man or a woman, like if they're non-binary or something else, um, then I just either draw a mixture between 
or choose one and then make the rest of the body less obvious of that gender. All right now for the neck. Now I like almost always change where the neck is because I can never get it quite right the first time. Oh this ear is kind of small. All right so the neck usually starts like from the back of the head. It's not it's not like if you okay I'm gonna show you a sideways head um, the neck doesn't come down like that see that looks very strange the neck comes from the back and then it's more like that um, so yeah I I always used to draw necks more like where they were here but then I actually saw a few different people explain that and it makes sense to me now so I'm gonna start the neck here and of course I'll most likely change it later on um, and then draw it here it's I'm not drawing it there <laughs> that looks really thick it really takes I guess personal experience to get the neck right or it did for me because I like whatever feels right it's more trial and error and that's how I learned then come the shoulders so men have more wider and pointier shoulders um, while women have less wide and um, more curvy shoulders so that would maybe look like this. I don't want the arm here. I want it more relaxed. Okay, that <clears throat> that was a fail, but I will fix it. <laughs> this neck is kind of long, actually. I'm going to move the shoulder. Okay. So now I'm going to draw the torso, which again is a just a square or a rectangle. And now the stomach part. Now that I have this part done, I'm going to I guess draw in the sides of the body so because I am drawing a woman I will draw the back more like this she's gonna be facing this way a little like I guess more like that the center of her chest will be turned this way a bit so and then <clears throat> the hips are gonna be like right here so and I make it go back out at the hips. All right, and then draw the front portion, which also comes in a little, but not as much because she's facing this way. And yeah, I'm going to go right to the arm just to get a better picture of where I, of how I want the legs to be positioned, which is this arm. So I want it kind of hand here and I learned from an artist called Lavender Town that you should draw the hands first to get an idea of where you want them and then draw the arms so I'm gonna draw it like right here and then draw where the shoulder should be which is right off the edge or the corner of rectangles and like I said before the elbow is like around right here so just going to take my fingers and do this although there is a little perspective here when there's perspective the then the body parts are gonna look longer or shorter than they really are and in this case they'll look shorter because the elbow will be coming more towards us the viewer
I don't like where the head is positioned. It's the neck. See, and I'm changing it. Okay. I think the shoulders are too high. Okay, that looks a lot better, I believe. And I'm gonna draw the other arm. Okay, so I think I'm gonna draw it kind of like sweeping down here. Yeah, I like that. Arms usually get smaller at the elbow and then get bigger again. So just to point that out. And I'll just draw a hand like that quick. <laughs> See, and I was going to draw her like a stance, like, boop, like that. Okay, not as weird as that, but you get the idea. Actually, you probably don't because I'm really bad at explaining stuff like that. But now I'm changing it to be like more regal and relaxed. Like, originally, I was gonna have her striking this cool pose, but now I want her to be kind of looking off in the distance, like a beach with a sun hat on.